pitches early in the count. This one is hit out to left center field. Looks like Sanford's got a beat on it. He'll slide over right into the left center field gap. Put the glove on. SEC Tournament Championship. This one is hit high in the air to right field. Drifting back to the wall. And it's, it's not going to have enough room. Will Ian Bailey, that's a solo home run for Dylan Cruz to start off the bottom of the first inning here for the Tigers. That is Cruz's sixth home run of the season. That'll tie him for the team lead with Kate Doty. What a way to start it off. Yeah, pick up right where the offense left last night. And you, that just goes to show you the strength of Dylan Cruz. Look, the wind is blowing out for sure. Swinging a very hot bat. This one is hit well and deep to left center field. Will it have enough? It does. Kay Doty may be one of the hottest hitters, not only on this ball club, Buzz, but in the United States right now. That is his third home run, and Kay Doty has just homered in all three games. That ball was absolutely crushed to the left center gap. I thought that I thought the fan out there was going to make a play in it. Just couldn't squeeze it. It was his one shining moment. He <laughs> wasn't able to make the grab. I don't think Kay Doty's too concerned with it. 2-2, Two -two, swing and a miss. Thompson chased the off-speed pitch down and away, and that'll do it here for the Tigers. This one is hit high in the air out to center field. Sanford having to give chase, and that one sneaks out. The wind is blowing dead out to center field. And Thornquist, who has been quiet this weekend, only one for ten, drives that ball to dead center just over the wall at 4.05. Yeah, you watch a lot of college baseball games. You don't see a ton of home runs hit at the dead center field. I can't think of many. Some time to get the sign. Here's the kick and the pitch. This one has hit a mile high down the right field line. Will it stay fair? It is going to hook toward the pole, but stays just fair. And Ian thinking crawfish. Oh, man, I have been wanting some crawfish so bad. This one is hit high and long, and that's going to be way out of here. About halfway up the diamond deck, another home run. That is the fourth of the game, and guess what? We've got four runs. Four solo blasts have highlighted the first three frames here. Or I should say two and a third frames here for both teams, no doubt about that one. And we're squared up at two apiece, and Griffin Paxton stays hot this week. And here's the 2-2 again to Arnold, swinging a miss. Got him with the fastball in on the hands there. Labus, swinging a miss, strike three. And that's gonna do it here in the top of the fifth <laughs> inning for the Roadrunner, bringing us closer. This one is gonna catch Dugas. On the thigh, he'll head down to first base. This one is hit well out to right center field. Bailey going to give it chase, but he's not going to have the room to catch up with this one as it'll clear the right center field wall, and Mitchell Sanford drives a first pitch over the right field wall to put the Tigers ahead by two. Yeah, nice job right there by Sanford of hunting a fastball early. And that's that's kind of the that's the scouting report. First home run for Mitchell Sanford. Comes that can be frustrating at time for players. This one is a laced in the six hole, a base hit to left field. Great piece of hitting there from Jordan Thompson. Fell behind quickly. 0-2 work. 3-1 pitch is hit high and deep out to left center field. Rock and Scholl giving it a chase, but that one is going to leave the yard. The fourth home run of the game for the Tigers, eight in the last two matchups. And Zach Arnold down in the ninth spot of the lineup. It's his fourth home run of the year. It traveled 411. Well, that's how you draw it up. Again, the, the infield's in. You got less than two outs on a guy on third. So with the wind blowing out, you just want to try to get under some. This one's a chopper right at the third baseman's going to get over his glove. Ochoa went up for it, had too much height, not able to bring it down. So Cruz 
Keeps the hit parade going. That's the f gets in on you quickly. One, two, hit well. It's going to get down for a base hit. Cruz will come around easily to score without a throw, and K. Doty collects his second hit of the game, and yet another RBI. That is 22 now. The pitch hit well, but right at the second baseman, Jonathan Tapia. I guess it's not true they were all scored by homers. This one is hit well out to right center field. Will it be enough? Nope, right off the top of the wall. Wow. The power that this Tiger line. To figure out what we're doing. This one's hit well, it's gonna find a hole. Right between the diving third baseman and shortstop, Nolan Kane gonna hold up Dugas at third base. He Runner off with the pitch. This one is a fly ball to right field. Bailey going to have to give chase. It's going to be deep enough for Dugas to tag. He's not going to have to slide. He comes in safely to home. The sack fly there. On that. Once again, the runner moving, and once again, the ball off the bat. This time, it is fair and right back up the middle. Arnold collects it. 2-2 two -two pitch. This one's again hit off the fist, but it's going to get the job done. Right over the second baseman, Jonathan Tapia's head. Zach Arnold going to hustle around first, from first to third. Another run will score. That's another RBI for Dylan. As much success at the plate, hits this one sharply. The shortstop was played toward the bag in a mini shift. This ball's hit well out to left field. Sanford gives chase, goes up for it right at the wall, but it's going to climb and get out of here. This wind is something serious today. That is the seventh home run of the game, third for the Roadrunners. Well, fans like offense, and fans like to come to the ballpark and see the ball leave the yard. Today's a perfect day for that. As you Griffin Paxton been red hot. They almost get a piece. In fact, they do. Just back to the pitcher. Here's the 2-2. This one's hit well over the reaching glove. Jumping was Arnold. A line drive that lands in right center field. The single will put runners at first and third here. Coleman left. This one's chopped to the third base side. Doty gets a glove on it. Going to come up and fire to first base. Morgan knocks it down, but he's not going to be able to field it. Doty was not able to field it cleanly. It was hit right in the middle of that hole between the one-two. Swing, swung on. Hit to Jordan Thompson. It's short. He fields it cleanly moving forward. Fires across the dot. Four last night. They've hit four today. This one is hit well down the right side. It's going to be fair. Crew's going to cut it off at the line and not allow the runner into second base. Hey, you go ahead and put the foot on the throat. I like to knock on wood here, but you put the foot on the throat and you get the big day. This one is hit well, but right at Jordan Thompson at shortstop, who is able to get the glove. 3 2 pitch. Fastball, it's chopped towards Doty at third. He's going to have to hustle in and fire quickly. He's going to throw it down the line. That ball gets all the way down into the LSU bullpen. Morgan tried to make the pick. He was unable to do so. And the runner will move all the way around to third base. Two runs are going to come in to score. It's now 9-6. to 1-1 one, one is hit well out to center field. That's going to find the gap. Lands safely in center. Sanford kicks it around a little bit. The runner will go into second base, standing up. Another run will score. It's now 9-7. to seven. Ball four. And that hook ball is hit long to center field. That's going to play at least one run. Sanford able to track it down. And that's two outs now. Sanford. Made a great running pace. Tigers lead by one here in the top of the ninth, and that's a single to left. There's going to be a play at the plate. Dugas comes up firing. It's going to be cut off. They'll get the runner who is trying to move from first to second in a rundown, but this game is going to be tied at nine apiece. Roadrunners, they have battled all weekend long. They put five runs on the board here in the top of the ninth inning. At second base starting in the tenth inning. And we will get there as Dugas hits a sky-high fly ball. But 3-1 hit out to left field. It's going to get down. Dugas thought about it for a minute. 
and we'll play. Here's the 2-2. This one is hit out to right field. It's a flare. Cruz is tracking. He's going to put the glove on it. There's going to be a play at the plate. Cruz comes home firing. The throw is up the line and late, and the go-ahead run. 1-1 one, one pitch, hammered to the left center gap. That's going to be down for extra bases. Bailey heads around, for, around second to third. They're going to wave him home. Throw comes in to the shortstop, Arnold. Second baseman, Arnold, he airmails it to home. Bittmeyer there to back it up. But the second run here in the bottom of the... And that'll bring Paul Maneri out, and he's going to go to the lefty. Tigers. 3-0, ball four. Ball's in the dirt. Wyeth's not able to put a glove on it. Runner... Pitch to Wyeth, ground ball, line drive right through the wickets of Zach Arnold. That had double play written all over it. It was hit hard. Arnold got in front of it, but it went right through the legs. Out into right field, Lee going into the ninth. The Roadrunners continue to add pressure and put runs on the board. It's now This one's hit on the line, but right at Thompson, it's short. He's going to put a glove on it. That's two outs now. 2-2, two -two. swing and a miss. Finally, the Tigers will head back to the dugout here. They're going to trail by. Put a lineup and get him a swing with the wind blowing out. There's a swing. Long fly ball down the left field line, and that's gone. Let's go. Two-run home run to bring the Tigers within one run here. In the bottom of the 10th, we asked for a little Alec Bach magic here. The same kind we saw last night, and there's Jordan Thompson getting the job done again, pulling the home run of this game for this LSU Fighting Tigers ball club. 12 to 11. Don't go home just yet. So be victorious. There's a long high fly ball to center field. Rock is giving chase. That's out of here. Hayden Travinsky ties this one up at 12 apiece with the sixth home run of the game for the Tigers. How about that? Alec Bach magic is real, folks. I don't know what else you need to see. Are you kidding me, partner? Unbelievable. This one a chopper, it's gonna be trouble. Shortstop's charging in, he's gonna make the throw. Not able to get him. Arnold beats out an infield single with one. 3-1 fastball upstairs. Doty lets it go. Bases will be juiced for K. The 0-2 is popped up in the infield. And that will be the third out. Of A runner starts at second with international rules. Oops, excuse me, swing. Doty's going to have to come in and get the slow roller. Tigers get the first out of the inning. The runner, of course, advances. The pitch hit sky high in the air. That's going to stay on the infield turf. Collier Cranford made it interesting there. Now Ian Bailey for the sixth time today. This one's off the hands right at Morgan. Got some tricky spin on it. Morgan's going to field it. Touch the bag. Three unassisted if you're scoring at home. Pitch to Dugas. Gets away from the catcher. Safford is going to take third on the pass ball. And now... The pitch, that's going to do it. Walk it off, Gavin Dugas. A hard hit shot into right center field. Is going to get it done for the Tigers for the second consecutive night. They get the walk off win. Gavin Dugas, the hero, with the game winner there to put the Tigers on top for the final time, 13-2. Can bust out the brooms in Baton Rouge. The Tigers sweep the week going 5-0.